The coronavirus could become a pandemic. Federal health officials are saying that and preparing for it. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. There are now 34 confirmed cases in the United States, but already more than 75,000 in mainland China. Reporter Ruta Olsenaida has more on what we can expect in the United States if the spread continues. Although the Centers for Disease Control is taking aggressive precautions to stop the spread of the coronavirus, the disease is not yet going away. And so we really need to be taking those plans out, dusting them off, and taking a look at those and saying, you know, what are we going to do here a few months down the road where we may see this in our communities and being spread from person to person. According to a CDC official, it is likely that the novel coronavirus will continue spreading into our communities, person to person. The impacts of the virus could turn into a pandemic, meaning affecting the entire world. You may be hearing about schools shutting down and businesses closing in countries in Asia to reduce the potential spread of this virus. The day may come when we will need to implement such measures in the U.S. communities. You might have to start curtailing um, social events, so having large groups of people coming together for, you know, whatever type of event, concerts or what have you. On Thursday, 11 people tested positive at UNMC and Nebraska Medicine's quarantine and biocontainment units after departing from the Diamond Princess cruise ship off the coast of Japan. They are expected to recover, but may require a longer stay than the typical two-week quarantine. So they would clearly have to demonstrate clinical improvement and then they would have to have at least two negative tests uh, spaced in time, so at least a day apart, uh, before we would consider them free of the virus and not shedding and no longer uh, contagious. The good news is that the number of cases in the U.S. is still low and all current cases are being monitored and treated. The numbers may even go down as flu and cold season wraps up. Reporting in Omaha, Rudol Sinaida, 3 News Now. Health officials dealing with the patients that tested positive at Nebraska Medicine and UNMC say the patients are in good spirits and recovering well.